Hi everyone, it's Danielle at the Clifton Springs Library. Thank you for joining us today for our second Take and Make Craft Kit of Adult Summer Reading 2020. Today we are going to be making Q-tip art. We're going to be making our own beautiful wispy dandelions. And this is the one that I made for practice. So cute, so simple. Um, I can't wait for you to um, follow along and make your very own adorable dandelion. The Take and Make Craft Kit, this is the same thing that you will have at home. So as you see, I have my dark piece of paper, um, my little paint cup, my Q-tips, and my rubber band. So what I'm going to do is set a few of the Q-tips aside, and then I'm going to take the rest and just put them into... A little bunch you can rubber band them or not I am going to rubber band mine because I would like them to stay as uniform as possible when I'm painting so I'm just going to secure with the rubber band and then I'm going to try to flatten the bunch as much as possible you may also want to just look and see if there's any little hairs or fuzzies um, that are going to bother you on your q-tips that may um, make the paint kind of spread in places you don't want it to. So I have my bunch ready and I'm just going to dig in. So I'm going to start by just very lightly tapping the q-tips into my paint and I'm just going to start by lightly pressing it in one spot. So as you can see the little dot effect is really cute and I'm going to kind of work in a circular motion and as you can see the paint is kind of coming off of the q-tip so as I work my way around it's getting lighter and lighter I actually like that effect you can dip more regularly if you wish um, I do not wish I like kind of the um, like whimsical somewhat faded look so I'm going to work roughly in a circle. No need to make it perfect because as you know, a fuzzy dandelion is not necessarily perfectly round. Just go ahead and dip as you would like, as much or as little as you want. Okay. So this I'm going to use as the base of my flower. You can, if you want, take some of your extras and do a smaller bunch to add some tighter bunches or um, even take a single one and just add um, some darker dots if you want to fill in a couple of those um, areas that may not have quite as much paint. It's totally up to you, however you like it. Like I said, I like mine kind of just whimsical and not so perfect which works out good for me because i'm not a great painter so i'm going to just take my single q-tip that i just used a little bit here and dip it lightly into the paint and i'm just going to draw a stem and again how much paint you use that is totally up to you i like um the fact that the paint kind of fades out and it kind of trails off um if you have another color at home you want to eat and you want to give it a green stem you could do that or use a marker like a fluorescent color would really pop um, and then I'm going to take my single q-tip again lightly dab and just give the appearance of some falling seeds from the dandelion and as you can see I'm kind of dealing with some fuzzy on my on my q-tip so I'm just going to give it a little spin here on my on my cap um, and again, I like the, I like the fact that the paint is kind of fading. Um, I'm just kind of freehanding making my little petals. You can do X's, you can make it kind of like a snowflake shape, whatever works for you. Um, and this is it. This is just the base project. You can really customize it and make it your own. You could add the word love or peace whatever you like. So here's a couple different examples. 
of how yours could come out. Again, customize it, have fun, make it your own. You could flip your bunch of Q-tips over and use the other side if you want and have it a little more splayed out. Um, experiment, see how you like the placement of your um, dots. Um, but that's it, it's very, very simple. Um, really fun, there's a lot of different things you could do with it. Um, I hope you have a good time. And if you complete this project, please go ahead and take a picture and um, send it to me via email or put it on our Facebook page. Happy crafting. Thanks, everyone. Bye.